friends and family. Jeff and Susan wanted me to share with you something that means very, very much to them. As children, they came to know and to hear the message of John 3.16. That God so loved the world that he had given his son that he would provide the salvation would be needed for their souls. As very young people, they took that opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as their Savior. They came to that place of being able to understand their own position as being sinners before God, accountable for their sins, and the need of asking God to forgive them of those sins and to place their faith in Jesus Christ as their Savior. And as happy and as high a pinnacle point as this particular event in their life is, the point that they receive Jesus Christ as their Savior is a higher point. Not only is it a higher point in relation to their own personal relationship with God, but as a result of that, according to Romans 5 and verse 5, that the Spirit of God should have brought in their hearts the love of God to intensify the ability of them to be able to love God, to be able to love others, and that love that will enhance and build their own personal love, the commitment that they make today. And so their opportunity is for me to ask you to consider whether or not that you would need to have Jesus Christ as your own Lord and your own Savior, because without this, there would not be the depth of joy they feel today. Jeff and Susan, as deep as the love is that you feel of one another today, that love will be tested greatly in the days that are ahead. God knew that. Therefore, He placed within His Word for us to be able to understand the intensity, the depth of all that is involved in real, unconditional love to be had between two hearts. It's described in 1 Corinthians 13 in this manner. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, does not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, and thinketh no evil. Rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in truth. Charity bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Charity never fails. The greatest of these, faith, hope, and charity, is charity. We bow our heads in prayer. Father, we are so very grateful that you showed us the full extension of unconditional love when you gave your Son to die on the cross for sinners such as we. Us having nothing that we could offer to you that would make us acceptable or pleasing or in any way to be deserving of anything that you could do for us. We're thankful, Paul, that Jeff and Susan began this foundation of their lives together built upon the foundation of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, for the abilities of love and compassion, of understanding that they will be able to have with one another as a result of the love of God in their life. Father, we pray that this particular moment of this ceremony will be just that of a public seal that is placed before the eyes of men of that which already has taken place in their hearts and that it may be a rejoicing time for them to be able to know that you are watching over them, that your hand is involved directly in this union and that you are going to guide them at every step of the way of their lives ahead. And we praise you for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Jeff and Susan, we certainly never realized several years ago when uh, Susan came up with Ron and Brenda to be with us that Christmas that your meeting was going to end at this particular time of being able to be joined together in Van and Wyatt. Of course, we've
feel like we had just a little bit of part, at least being in the right place to have you come together and meet together. We appreciate having Susan in our home last October and giving you both the opportunity to spend time together and really think about how serious you were about each other. So we praise the Lord that uh, we've been able to be just a small part of seeing you uh, join together. We're happy for you and we want to be praying continually that God will use you. Jeff's one of our boys, so uh, we're going to be really concerned and uh, watchful concerning how that God uses his life and how your lives together is one. You always be assured of our prayers and our love and our home is always open to you.